As the tile setting business continues to grow, basic knowledge about different types of grout is critical to do the job right the first time. By the end of this video, you will have a good overview of four different grout technologies available. Cement, advanced performance, epoxy, and premixed grout, and when to use them. Over the years, grout has improved dramatically. Originally, there was only cement-based grout. Then in the 40s, furan grouts and epoxy emulsion grouts were introduced. They provided advantages you couldn't find with traditional cement-based grouts. For example, furan grouts provide chemical resistance, whereas epoxy emulsion grouts can act not only as a grout, but also as a setting mortar. Fast forward to the present. Workers have a variety of grouts available. Beginning with cement-based grouts to premixed grouts, each grout has its own distinct advantages depending on installation requirements. With so many choices, it's hard to know which grout is the right one for the job. Not choosing the correct grout may contribute to an installation failure. On the flip side, when you get it done right with the correct products and technique, you reap the benefits of a successful installation. Let's break down what you need to know about four different types of grouts out there. The first one is cement grout. Keep in mind there are two kinds, sanded grout and unsanded grout. Let's start with sanded grout. This type of grout is used when joints are 1 8 inch or wider. Be careful using sanded grouts on sensitive finishes, such as glazed ceramic tiles, glass, metal, marble, polished stone, and agglomerate tiles. The reason? Sanded grout may scratch, stain, or damage these types of surfaces. If the tile is questionable, test a small area to find out if sanded grout will work with your tile. If scratching or damaging of the tile occurs, unsanded grout should be used. Unsanded grout is used when filling joints up to 1 8 inch wide. Do not use on joints larger than that because it might shrink and cause cracking because of the lack of sand, also known as aggregate, in the grout. Cement grout has been and continues to be recommended for most residential applications, including kitchens, bathrooms, and other living areas. For commercial installations, it is commonly used in offices, retail stores, and shopping malls. Most cement grouts can be mixed with a grout additive to provide benefits such as stain resistance and durability for high traffic floor areas and exterior walls or floors. Let's move on to Advanced Performance Modified Grouts. These are cement-based grouts, many of which are formulated with calcium aluminate. What makes them unique is they have advanced formulas that provide many of the benefits of epoxy with the easy application and cleanup of traditional cement-based grout. Stain resistance, strength, and durability are already built into the product and don't require a separate grout additive to achieve these benefits. These grouts are best used in demanding environments where color consistency and durability are important. High traffic residential and commercial floors or exterior walls and floors. Next, there's epoxy grout. It's made up of epoxy resin and hardener portions. Often, it has a coarse silica filler. Environments that are exposed to harsh acids and cleaners call for epoxy grout because it provides chemical resistance, high bond strength, durability, and improved stain resistance. Because of these qualities, it's the best choice for heavy commercial environments, like commercial kitchens, hospital operating and emergency rooms, and laboratories. Epoxy grout has different installation techniques and cleanup than cement grout. For a successful installation, make sure to follow manufacturer's recommended installation instructions. And finally, there's pre-mixed grouts, also known as single component grouts. It's one part and ready to use. All you have to do is open the pail, stir, and start grouting. All pre-mixed grouts are polymer resin or urethane based. The benefits include resistance to stains, cracks, and shrinking. Although they can be used in many applications that cement-based grouts are, they should be given strong consideration where color consistency is important. This includes residential countertops and backsplashes, kitchens, and many bathroom walls and floors. Some higher-performing pre-mixed grouts are even recommended for exterior or commercial applications. Many of these materials require thorough cleaning prior to initial cure. As always, read the product label before using it to understand suitability for various environments and application instructions. Over the years, we've seen major grout advances. 
And because of the many grout options out there, it's important to know the differences between grouts. Doing this helps you select the proper grout for the job. Remember to always check with the manufacturer and follow the instructions. A successful tile installation means a happy building owner. But when a grout job fails, everyone notices. People depend on you to get it done right. And the foundation of getting it right the first time is understanding which type of grout to use to achieve the performance of the desired installation. While an architect or building owner may have a preferred grout, it's important to know what's available to you that might better meet the needs of a specific job. Visit the National Tile Contractors Association at tile-assn.com to learn more and enhance your knowledge online at NTCA University.